upload is the first tutorial on uh, Maya, the explain interface very very nicely. Um, this is the main window in perspective. You can press Alt. Just remember Alt is the key for for Maya in terms of uh, moving and planning it. So if you press Alt and the left button of the mouse will be able to change the perspective. If you press Alt and the middle button will be able to, to pan. We can uh, press here and get to four views or we can also like press the space bar in order to make it bigger or come back here to this option to see the one. You can use the box as you can imagine. It's very similar to other programs uh, such as 3D Max in order to change from one perspective to another. Um, the scroll bar, the scroll, scrolling in the in the mouse allows us to to zoom in or zoom out very easily. Um, we can change different options here in turn depending on how we developing our um, our uh, project. It could be made in polygons, could be made in surfaces, or it could be rendering or actually creating a, an, anima an animation. So here. As you can see, it changes all the options after the window tab. If you see all of them, and if you go to polygons, it changes all of these ones as well. Um, we'll have many options within each of them, and we can actually dock them out if you want for whatever reason, because you you use them a lot or not. Um, here we have the pr premise or pretty much a shortcut of all the options that are up here uh, in terms of animation and. Uh, Subdivisions, polygons, etc. We're going to work on the polygons uh, from for now on for a couple or three uh, tutorials at least. Um, if we create an object such as a box, we just need to just follow um, the different options that the the screen tells us. So we use two points and then the height. Uh, if we press five, we immediately shade it. Uh, if we press four, we make it wireframe. If we wanted to shade it and and see the wireframe at the same time, we have to come here to shading and say wireframe and shade it. And now it's as you can see the shading. If we want also like to see it semi uh, ghosted, you we can also press X ray. For now, we're going to leave it like that. Um, we're going to have here the the layer editor. And the layer management, which layer management works very similar to uh, uh, Photoshop or other programs. We can right click and say add collection objects. We can uh, change it the visibility or or if you want to constrain it or block it in whatever way. Uh, I normally uh, work with with uh, what is called the outliner, which is very very important. Uh, to to know is basically here in window in outliner when you create this window you can also get to access to it by clicking here which is basically one of the options by right clicking in this area is one of the options within the multiple window uh, possibilities that Maya allow for example the one we were checking is perspective and outliner at the same time so in this sense when we actually if I delete the cube and then generate a sphere immediately the outliner recognizes and adds a new object a new a piece of information into it we can actually delete it from here or if we control c it disappears here if we control c we can also select it here and delete from the outliner um, let's go to perspective and create a box these options are actually to to snap we can snap to grids and w as you see snap into the grid if we press control while we're doing this uh, box it will do a symmetrical res re in respect to the, the center and if we press shift it creates the cube to the same height as land so which is very convenient enough to actually to make uh, three-dimensional uh, symmetric uh, objects now um, we can uh, snap to well to the grid as I say by clicking in for example if we do a curve and we sna start snapping to the grid as you can see it's very easy to snap to the grid um, snap
snap to the surface and create also a curve. You'll see it's actually snapping to the surface. Um, it can snap to different points. You see here again by pressing the, the X button and the shift creates a box symmetrical and, and with the same height and we can actually snap two points you know for example to make a, another curve so you can see it snaps into the points effectively you can see there's a curve and it's shaded we can um, uh, get into the component layers and for example extract um, what is what will be the, the vertex and move them and we can actually uh, do different operations within them uh, we can also get into the, the edges uh, the surfaces the tricking the surfaces etc